to meet up with our friends. They've invited us to their casale. In a short 20 minute drive, it's unbelievable how drastically the scenery changes. Meet Livio. He's one of the constructors working on the house. Oh my god! Welcome back to our renovation in Tuscany. If it's your first time joining us, take a look inside our villa and explore our previous videos at the top right. Let's dive into life here in Tuscany this past week. With all of the moving and chaos going on, we needed to take a break from unpacking. Good morning. Good morning. We're on our way to meet up with our friends. They've invited us to their casale, which is about 30 minutes from the villa. So we're gonna head over there um, and have a little bit of lunch and spend some time with them. Sunday mornings are notoriously busy at the local grocery store since everyone loves to get together for Sunday lunch. We picked up some meat for an easy barbecue with our friends. Spring is in full bloom. In a short 20 minute drive, it's unbelievable how drastically the scenery changes. The fields are vibrant green and flowers are everywhere. The Casale is located in the picturesque Tuscan countryside, in an area that is a nature preserve with rolling hills and white roads. It's exactly what you imagine when you think of Tuscany. It was so nice to have a change of scenery and visit our lovely friends, who as you saw in the last episode helped us through our no bathroom phase. We're finding our new groove with all of the construction going on around us. Rob and I work full time from home and keep a really busy schedule to pay for the renovation and new finishes. We haven't been getting enough sleep lately, so we try our best to make sure that we eat well and manage our stress. some stuff to organize the kitchen, the temporary kitchen that we have. So we, we have to. <laughs> yeah, because we have to. It's important that we find a good flow in our temporary living space within the villa for the next few months and organize our things to make daily life more manageable.
We had a nice treat waiting for us when we returned from our IKEA trip. Ciao! <laughs> allora? Meet Livio. He's one of the constructors working on the house. Te la vedi fuori? Non l'hai vista dentro? No! Oh, this is beautiful. Avete sentito a Paolini o no? Questo è anche quello della cucina. Okay, vediamo. Oh my god. We were expecting more work to be done, but one weekend we're already hit with delays. They've already started putting the tubing in for this floor. This will be all of the new plumbing. So you can see they're coming out of the walls here. We will be dropping the ceiling slightly so that we can make room for those guys. And that will also give us an opportunity to put lights above here in this corridor. This room used to be the only kitchen that existed on this floor. Now we're going to be converting it into a bar coffee area and they've already started chipping away at the wall here so that they can put in all the new plumbing as well. So we decided we would like to knock down this wall and push it out into the other room because the other room will be my office. It just makes sense that we can have a bigger pathway here especially because we would like to put in a bar in this section here hook up the espresso machine over here because we have plumbing and have a little sink. This is our inspiration for the layout of the bar area. We love the old Hollywood vibe of this bar here and its use of mixed materials. So now we're just waiting on getting the quote to figure out how much that expense is really gonna be. We have to be really conscious about the budget and all the extra expenses that are going to come with it. The bathroom. Where do I begin? <laughs> so the bathroom right now is very, very tiny and the way that it's kind of set up plumbing wise is to have the sewage come out on this side of the wall here. We're not really able to budge unless we want to spend a lot more to set up the sewage to go out on this side. We're going to expand this wall, knock this down, and go ahead and move it out a little bit so that we have a little bit more space for the only bathroom that exists on this floor. Here, we started talking with our geometra. He did a little sketch up here so you could see what the layout of the bathroom, what he's kind of thinking. This is the toilet, bidet, shower, little section of a wall here, wall here, and a uh, sink right here with cabinetry. The window has to be here. We're not gonna be able to move that window. Since the bathroom is right off of the new kitchen and living space, we want to make the design cohesive by bringing warm tones into the bathroom like this. We love the glamour and use of wood, large expansive mirrors, and natural stone as in this inspiration photo. We want to create a striking bathroom with unique and special finishes. It's been lovely to take a break from work and enjoy a nice walk to the beach in the afternoons. We always stop by our local bar to grab a cafe macchiato.
final construction quotes are coming in and hopefully we can quit having delays. Fingers crossed next week the wall will be knocked down and more windows opened up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell us what you think about the inspiration of the bar and bathroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell to find out what unfolds next week.